during you for this deposition? No, sir. Has he ever threatened you? No, sir. Has he threatened you? No, sir. Then you mean to tell me that you sat in my courtroom, callously lying, when you knew that people would hang by your minutes? Answer me. I did, sir. How are you instructed in life? Do you not know that God damns all liars? Or is it now that you lie? No, sir. I'm with God now. You are with God now. I, sir. I will tell you this. You are either lying now, or you were lying in court. And in either case, you have committed perjury. You will go to jail for it. You cannot lightly say that you lied, Mary. Do you know it? I cannot lie no more. I was God. I was God. Ruth Putnam is not in court, sir, nor the other children. These will be sufficient. Sit you down, children. Your friend Mary Warren has given us a deposition in which she states she never saw any familiar spirits, apparitions, nor any other manifest of the devil. She also claims that none of you have seen these things either. Now, children, this is the court of law, the law based upon the Bible, and the Bible written by Almighty God, forbid the practice of witchcraft, and ascribe death as the penalty thereof. But likewise, children, the law and Bible damn all bearers of false witness. Now then, it does not escape you that this deposition may be devised to blind us. It may well be that Mary Warren has been conquered by Satan. We send her here to distract our sacred purpose. If so, her neck will break us. But if she speak true, I bid you now drop your guile and confess your pretense, for a quick confession will go easier with you. Abigail Williams, rise. Is there any truth in this? No, sir. Children, a very augur of it will now be turned into your souls until your honesty is proven. Will either of you change your positions now, or do you force me to hard question? I have not to change. She lies. You would still go on with this? Aye, sir. A puppet were discovered in Mr. Proctor's house. Mary Warren claimed that you sat by her in the court when she made it, that you saw her make it, and witnessed how she herself stuck the needle into it for safekeeping. What say you to that? Mr. Dirkwood, it is a lie. While you worked for Mr. Proctor, did you ever see any puppets in that house? Goody Proctor always kept puppets. Your Honor, my wife never kept any puppets. May I want to give death to his heart? Your Excellency, Mr. Cheever, when I spoke with Goody Proctor in the house, she said she never kept no puppets. But she said she didn't keep puppets when she were a girl. She hasn't been a girl these 15 years. Your Honor, but a puppet will keep 15 years, will it not? It will keep if it is kept. Mary Warren swears she saw no puppet in my house, nor anyone else. But why could there not have been a puppet kept in hid when no one ever saw it? There might also be a dragon with five legs in my house, but no one has ever saw it. But we are here, Your Honor, precisely to discover what no one has ever seen. What problems that problems this girl that she turns herself about? What may Mary Warren gain but hard push? And even worse, you are charging Abigail Williams with a marvelous cool plot to murder, you understand that? I do so. I believe she needs to murder. This child would murder your wife? And it's not a child. Now hear me, sir. In the sight of the congregation, she was twice this year put out of the beating house, but laughed at doing prayer. What's this? Laughter? Hey, yes. Excellent. She will undertake this power with you, but she is solemn now. Ah, I gotta go up the hand, people. Quiet, man. Surely you have no bearing on the question, Excellency. He charges contemplation of murder. Aye. We'll see, Mr. Tucker. Abigail leads the girls to me, and they dance their name. Excellency, since I came to see her. What is this dancing? Mr. Hi, Mr. Tucker. Abigail leads the girls to me. Mr. Pop, this apparently is still doing himself. There's the child Mr. Paris? Excellency, when I first arrived from Beverly, Mr. Paris told me that. Do you deny Mr. Paris? No, I do not deny it. <coughs> I never saw any of them next. But you discovered them dancing in the woods? I see. Excellency, will you permit me? Pray proceed. Now, Mary Warren, you say you were never afflicted by any manifest of the devil or the devil's agents? I did, sir. And yet when people confronted you in court and accused you of witchery, 
You had lied, saying their spirits came out and choked you? It was pretense, sir. I cannot hear you. Pretense, sir. But you did turn cold, did you not? I myself picked you up many times, and your skin were icy. Mr. Hank, I saw many times. They're all marvelous pretenders. They mean to fool you, Mr. Can they pretend to faint now? No. Why not? There are no spirits attacking her now, for none of this room is accused of witchcraft. Let her turn herself cold now. Let her pretend that there are spirits attacking her now. Let her faint. Faint! Faint? Ah, faint. Prove to us that you can faint by your own will as you claim. I cannot faint now, sir. Can you not pretend to faint? I am a sense of it. Why? What is lacking like now? Might it be that here, Right now, we have no thinking spirits. But before, there were some. I never saw no spirits. There be no spirits now. Pretend now like you pretended so many times in court. I cannot do it. Then you will confess, will you not? It were attacking no, spirits sir. that make you faint. No! Your Honor, this is a trick to blind the court. It's not a trick. I just defend because I thought I saw spirits. Thought you saw them. I did not, Your Honor. How could you think you saw them unless you saw them? I I cannot tell how, but I did. I heard the other girls screaming, and you, Your Honor, you seemed to believe them. They were all scored in the beginning. But I promise you, Mr. Danforth, I only thought I saw spirits, but I did not. Surely, Your Excellency, will not let so simple a lie be spread in open court. Abigail. I bid you now search your hearts and tell me this, and beware of a child. To God, every soul is precious, and his vengeance is terrible on them that will take life without cause. Might it be that the spirits you have seen are illusional, some deception that may have crossed your mind? Why, this is a base question, sir! Child, I would have you consider it. I have been hurt, Mr. Danforth. I have seen my blood running out. I have been near to murder for doing my duty by pointing out the devil's people. And this is my reward? To be mistrusted, denied, questioned like- Child, I do not mistrust you. Let you be clear, Mr. Jackson. Then you be so mighty that the power of hell may not turn your way. Beware. There it is. What is it, child? I know not. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Sure. 